Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling in Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at some more new things in Zim 015. We have a new version out. And uh, let's go to the site now at zimjs.com. And to find out what's new, we press on what's new there. And we've got, uh, here's Zim 015. We press that. We've got a lot of things to show coming up in the uh, Zim with Texture Active. It's how we can get interactive textures into 3JS, which is very exciting. But we're going to leave those for just now and come on down and look at some of the basic updates. And this is one right here where we have, check that out, that is an emitter with a warm parameter. That means the emitter starts with particles already emitted. So uh, that's very handy. Yay. Uh, I was teaching some gaming, and um, in Unity, they have uh, an excellent particle emitter system there. And I had somebody go through all of the features for about an hour. And we looked, we had almost all the features that Unity had, but we didn't have a warming, and we've always wanted that, and we didn't know what it was called. <laughs> and uh, it makes sense, so it was a little tricky to implement, but I think we got it. It's really only maybe eight lines of code, and uh, that made it work. And of course, we can do it with just one parameter. So let's see how we can do that. We'll close that one down, if I can, and we'll come back to doop, 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 up here, the editor. Also, you may notice that my cursor is bigger. So thanks, KV, for suggesting that as we do these videos, we make a bigger cursor. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't make it as big as we could have, but <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh, look at that insert text thing there. Um, okay, that might take getting, or take getting used to, but we want to do an emitter, new emitter. And dot center. So there we are centering an emitter, and there she be. But note that when we test it, it starts from zero. It's a little hard to see, but it starts from zero and then starts filling up. Uh, if we slow down the the interval there, you could see that a bit better. But here, watch, you see if we see a difference here. If we say warm, or spell it correctly, warm colon true, and try it. Yeah, it, did you see that? It's just all of a sudden it's got a whole bunch already. Test. Boop. Okay, there you go. So you can try that out. It is a little bit tricky uh, for some things, but it seemed to work. It was very exciting. In the example that we show you, that uh, example with the rings, there's commented out code in there that takes you through some more options. And you can have a look there in the commented code, like just uncomment that and do that. What was that? What was that for? Oh, that was for drawing. That was for drawing stuff. Do you want to see it? Ah, we got some time. Yeah, why not? Huh? Okay, so go back to Zim. Hit the 015 thing here. I think my cursor's slight. It, this one's bigger, and I, I, a few times now I've clicked something and missed, so I'm not sure exactly, um, you know, wh why that's happening, but. Like I said, I'm not used to it. I tried to hit that thing and uh, ended up hitting the background. By the way, you can change the background. I don't know if you knew that. Whee! So you can make your own patterns back here, and then it will remember your patterns across the site. Now that's another matter. Down below here, here's the file, and we go Control U. It may very well be Control U views the source. It may very well be that we start moving those demonstration files right into the editor to start. I'm not sure. At the moment, we're still doing it nice out and full, but uh, it remains to be seen. And we wouldn't have to do this step. So here's a couple examples, as mentioned, and here's the example that we want. So I'm going to copy this, copy, and pop on back to our editor. I missed that closing thing again. You know, I've got this big, huge cursor, and I'm trying to move it up to, it looks like I'm hitting it, but I missed it. And then we come up. So there's the warm. So did you notice that when it war when we came back, that was another thing that the emitter was doing. We paused the emitter on blur, although you can change that setting. But we paused the emitter on blur, blur, <laughs> and when we come back, the emitter would start again from its particles. Here, the emitter started with rings already, but it didn't quite get all the rings. It was close. Shall we see that again? I don't know if we want to see it again. 
that's pretty good. It's better than it was before. Sometimes a ring is missing. Those are actually rings that are being animated and increased and they're being pooled. So it's, it's just kind of depends a little bit on, on the pooling state and so forth. Uh, like I said, quite tricky code. And what are we wanting to do now? We want to put this into an editor. So let's go to the editor. And there it is. And try this code out. Whoa, it was all commented. Should bring it back. Here we go. So what have we got here? We have an emitter. This time we're emitting a shape. So this is the format. You can, you can emit the objects and we're emitting a type of shape and giving it stroke colors and uh, stroke width. And then there's the warm true. We've got some various things and we've got a sink. Do I have the sink here? Yeah, there's the sink. It's in the middle and that's it. And we hit test. Wow, take a look at that, huh? So test, see that? It's all created. If we didn't have the warm, here's what it would look like. So now all those particles have to come out and be created. Eventually, it'll get to our, our stage. And also if we left, uh, here's another tab and come back. Actually, the shape is cache so it's it's not too bad and hence we on the pause on blur for a shape we didn't do the warming we didn't really need to because the whole shape is is cached and and visible there but uh, this still affects our beginnings so there it is without the warm you can also warm with a certain number of particles so you could say 10 particles you can say 100 particles just be careful it, it just went through looped and made 100 particles it may not need them so that's that's the trick based on the lifetime of your particle and the interval that's how many particles you would get the lifetime divided by the interval so if you start adding more particles than that value there's no reason for doing that because a bunch of particles will have decayed and gone already and you're just making those for no reason. So after, you know, after playing around with that a little bit, we realized, oh, you know, we may as well not even let, you know, have, have you guys set the number of particles. That's how we started. How many particles do you want to start? We may as well set it automatically to the lifetime divided by the interval. And that is what we did. So, but you can actually choose uh, 10 particles. And then it looks like this. I guess that were 10 particles um, made ahead of time. Yeah. Okay, but if you just say true, then it warms what it thinks, how many particles you have. It looks like it's close. It kind of fades out a little. I guess it's close enough. <laughs> but anyway, it is still better and quite wonderful, I think. And this has been a, a what's new, a bubbling here at Zim015. So uh, if you're digging this stuff, which I hope you are, then come on in, join us at zimjs.com slash slack and zimjs.com slash discord. A note that up here we've got particles, and let me refresh that again. We have not applied warming to these particles. This was made back in zim014, the last version, and all those particles had to take time rising, and we actually like it that way. So we thought, okay, we could come in here and warm that, and then it would look just like this to start, but we thought, I like the fact that it starts off simple and the particles then start coming up. So we've left the warming off on purpose. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Uh, it's uh, really nice to talk to you guys again. Like I said, come on in, zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord, and come join us there. We're very friendly. If, if you code, come code with us. It's amazing what we can do. And we really like it. If you've never coded before, this is an ideal opportunity. You will never have more colorful, easy code with help uh, and JavaScript on the canvas. It's just so much fun. Okay, cheers.